Hello all, I am Dr. Manoj Jayapath. I am from Kerala, India. Welcome to my channel. I am a cancer surgeon. Today I am going to talk about colon cancer and to all a colon cancer can uh, come. What are the problems? How is the presentation? And uh, how can we deal about? So uh, a colon cancer is generally seen after the age of 50. The patient will be can be seen both males and females. So they present with blood mixed with stools, maybe a black color or maroon color or dark red color. So that is a general presentation. They will have alteration of the bowel habits. Sometimes they will have constipation, sometimes they have loose stools, sometimes their tummy comes and distends. So these are the alteration in the bowel habits is a very important feature. Then they have, can have abdominal pain and they may present with anemia that is blood loss your hemoglobin level in the blood is low that may be a presentation sometimes it produces complications like intestinal obstruction that is like your tummy starts distending you starts vomiting out uh, even you vomit out the bile you may not pass your motion you may not pass even your flatus or some kind of abdominal discomfort persistent abdominal discomfort after the age of 50 so you there may be a weight loss you may not like to eat food so loss of appetite is another feature uh, and sometimes you have abdominal distension such are the features of uh, colon cancer so what should be done to whom all this colon cancer can come it can come sporadic without any cause it can come sometimes uh, if a patient is having a polyp as a small growth in the uh, intestine or large intestine it can transform to a uh, cancer sometimes it can be genetic it can run in the family if a father or your grandfather is having a colon cancer the chance of having you cancer is high sometimes it may be syndromic there are certain group of cancers which come together in a patient like fap familial adenomatous polyp hnpc is hereditary non polyposis coli these are the few syndromic cancers or it can happen without any cause so there are different reasons various reasons why a patient can have colon cancer so once uh, you think that your tummy is not well, you have some alteration bowel habits, what should be done? You should immediately visit a doctor, especially the best will be a surgeon. They let him examine. So he will give you blood tests to see whether there is anemia. He will give you a CEA test, that is carcinoma embryonic antigen, which is a tumor marker. If it is high, there is a high chance that you have colon cancer. And uh, uh, best investigation always will be a colonoscopy. What is colonoscopy? You put a small camera through your anus and see your complete large intestine and a CT scan to see where the growth is. So these are the certain tests which you do. So once you are being diagnosed to have colon cancer, what has to be done? You have to undergo surgery because in intestinal cancers, surgery is the best way to deal with it. You can do either open surgery or a laparoscopic surgery. In open surgery, on the right side, you have a right hemicolectomy. On the left side, you have a left hemicolectomy. And the transverse, that is in the transverse intestine, you have an extended right hemicolectomy. These are the various surgical procedures a surgeon does. So, how can you do that surgery? You can do either open or laparoscopy. Open means you cut open the abdomen and take out all the cancers and reattach the small bowel to the large bowel and three four days you will be inside the hospital four days or even a week you will be inside the hospital once you're okay you'll be discharged in keyhole surgery yes very good it's painless you make three to four holes you go inside you see the growth and you do the necessary surgery and you come out through small small holes and you perform the surgery it's absolutely painless in a week time then you can go back to your work so and uh, open surgery and keyhole surgery these are options so complications yes you attach two intestines together maybe using staplers but sometimes it may not hold in such conditions it may leak so leak uh, of the uh, motion into your tummy is one complication it can bleed so these are very rare complications anyways you have to undergo surgery so that is how uh, you deal with the cancer then what will happen next you send all this cancer to biopsy from the biopsy they will assess whether it is spread or not if it is not spread then you don't need to take chemotherapy if it is spread then you have to take chemotherapy it may it is either tablets or injections it is very safe now uh, you will not have uh, hair loss there that's our old regimes uh, other different therapeutic 
drugs can cause higher loss but presently you can have this chemotherapy without any higher loss so these are in general the presentation management of uh, presentation and management of colon cancer thank you once again for watching my channel please uh, suggest my video to other your friends who are in need and please uh, press the bell button and uh, that is for subscribing my video and once again i thank you thanks